Hey guys, welcome back to season 15 of AOR. This time it's round 2 in China. As you can see, we are on a dry track, but you can probably sense there is a bit of rain in the air right now. There's a few drops here and there, and uh, it started raining on my outlap, so I'm gonna do my best to uh, try and get a quick lap in because obviously, the further we get into the session, the less time I'll have to set a good time. Um, so I'm not really expecting too much because, I mean, China is bad enough in the dry, but now on a damp track. It's going to be quite tricky to do to do a good time, um, especially because I've been struggling in uh, in practice already. But it's looked okay so far. It's not been the best lap, but I really just want to get somewhere uh, around maybe the, in the, in, on the edge of the top ten. Probably is where I'm aiming for, um, as I have been slower than I thought I would be around here. But I'm, I've had a fine lap so far. As you can see, that's AOR Charlie 33.7. That's probably not going to be the fastest time, if I'm honest. Um, and we've got a um, reserve in this time who's apparently rapid, so I'm guessing he's going to take pole, which is going to be an interesting situation having a reserve up there. Um, as you can see, he's been lower to a 33 dead right now. I doubt we're going to get down to that time. I think um, I'm probably going to be in the middle of the 33s if I'm uh, if I'm lucky. Um, but we're now going to head down to the final sectors here of the lap and. It's, as you can see, I just didn't get on the power there, and I probably lost a few tenths. That was a bit shit from me as we now go into the final corner. Cut it as much as we can. What is it going to be? It's going to be a 33.4, so that's going to give us P10 in the end. Um, so that's a bit annoying, because obviously I would rather have had uh, P11, but that's what it's going to be, and we'll just have to get into the race. Now here we are on the grid, as you can see, P10, so I have to start with those used tires, where the people are behind me can start with first tires, but now the lights are away and we're behind Dasher in the house, which is a bit unfortunate because he is American and as you can see he has got those uh, red uh, connection uh, lines there. So we go into the first corner, I think we've got Mercedes Piglets on the left with the soft tires, we think, I think someone got off on the left there. It's been calm corner so far, we've got, is it Bosley behind us? Trying to get past, but he but he couldn't. We are still in P10, so I haven't lost any positions. Uh, I think Piglis came from behind and swapped places with someone else. He didn't really see who it was, um, but um, it's been a fine start. You can see, oh, there's a bit of cars. He nearly hit Piglis there, but I just managed to avoid it, and he was quick to react as well. So that was good on him. As we are now behind Pelsetti, I think is he also he's in the Williams there, and he's going a bit deep there. So maybe we can squeeze up the inside because yes, we we can maybe. Can we make it around the outside? No, he just blocks us off. There was nearly an opportunity to take ninth there, but he just managed it okay as <laughs> I spun up completely. And now we have the captain dive bomb behind us. What he's gonna do, I think we all know what he's gonna do. Yeah, of course he's gonna dive up our inside. Try to block him off uh, to tell him <laughs> not to go there, but he did anyway. But we're just gonna squeeze him wide here this time. And there's no way he's getting back. Who's that? And then Persetti, he's gone. Oh, he's gone off at uh, of turn 13. That's annoying. It is a tricky traction shown, but that's how it goes sometimes. We're now caught on to lap three. As the race is steady, a bit as oh, it's the Jackster who's just gone off, and that's another place for me. So P7 so far, uh, which is quite good. Obviously, there's a lot of people on different strategies to me because I had to start on, on, on those super softs. So all the people from outside the top ten probably started on softs. If now caught on to lap six, and as you can see, it's sort of steadied a bit. Me behind Piglis and Die Hard behind me. But if you look at the minimap, I think I think Dyer's bottled it again. Yes, he has. He has bottled it again. And he, I think he lost four positions or something. So he's now outside the points. What a balance. I mean, what can you expect? As we now cut on to lap nine. And we've got Extreme behind us. And he's been catching us because obviously my super softs are completely dead. And his softs are still okay. So I think he's going to go up our inside. Is he? Yeah. Oh, we just bang wheels a little bit. But I managed to uh, fend him off, it seems. Can he get the better traction outside? I don't think he can. No, he can't, but I, I think he's going to have us into uh, turn four. I think it's called. Oh, yeah, he's straight on our inside. I think he's just going to dive up our inside. Maybe we can pull a switchback move. No, his tires are simply too good. I'm really struggling. This is the lap I'm going to pit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. As you can see, there's a quite big gap down to die out behind me, who's the guy I'm really fighting, to be honest. Um, so I pitted now for the mediums, going to take those to the end. I thought trying to go for the soft would be a bit too aggressive, but my tire wear isn't really that good. Come out in P14, so hopefully there's a lot of guys up ahead yet to pit 
because I should be around P7, P8 again when everyone's done their pit stops. It's now cut on to lap 14 in extreme. Uh, obviously he pitted after me because he was on the softs and now he's caught us again. Oh, he just lagged. Come what, what the fuck just happened there? He just had a huge lag spike. spike. Um, and he seems to be gaming, gaining on me rapidly. Like, it shouldn't even be possible considering that lag, but obviously I don't know where he really is as he just goes up or inside. But we pull the switch back move on him and he just went a bit too deep and we keep hold of that position. So that was a nice little, uh, little battle we had there, but I think he just seems to have superior pace to me at this race, even though last season I was consistently faster than him, but this is how it is sometimes. Um, and he's now, I think he's, yeah, he's on the long side us already, so he's gonna be much, much easier for him to go up the inside. Yeah, he was nearly ahead going into the braking zone. I try and cut the corner and do a switch back a little bit, but he's just got the better traction this time. And I'm gonna have to yield that position throw. It's P12 right now. We've got Diehard behind us, as you can see on the mid map, with quite a big gap. But um, I don't think I can make a move into extreme in turn one. Even though I have one seven wings, I just don't seem to have any pace on the straights. I mean, and I just complete the bottle like quarter anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I think I'm just gonna have to let it go. But if you can, you can see on the mini map, there's loads of guys up ahead, just like that pack of four people. So hopefully we can catch up to those guys. But now we cut onto lap seven, and there's been a yellow flag. Someone has collided up ahead of the team. So we got, oh, we got midget. And we got it was that amazed facing the wrong way. They probably come together at the um, the happen and we've got someone in the pits as well. I think it's Riley boys. Is it Riley? Yeah, it's Riley, and we up to P9. We gain three positions in the space of one corner, so that's quite nice. Uh, as we're now into the points. No, another one pitted, so we're actually in P8, it's four positions in the space of like a quarter of a lap, so I can't really be uh, too bothered about that. So now cut on to lap 20 and Lil Rai has caught us. Because obviously he's on the fresh super so there's nothing I can do, and he's just gonna dive up or inside here. He actually, it was a bit, I'm not aggressive, but I just gave him a bit too much space, and I just have to let him go. There's no reason for me to try and uh, defend from him, because on the supers, what am I gonna do against him? Um, so we still got diehard behind us, um, but that's all that really happened. And then the race, I just calmly drove home to P7. And uh, I can't really be too bothered about that, considering I thought I was going to be outside the top 10 this race. I had a lot of uh, fortune with the crashes and all that kind of stuff. Um, so so I'm pleased with P7. I mean, it's points of the first two races, which is better than what I can say for my for my teammate here, who again had a collision with someone, so now he's down in P14, which is a bit of a shame. But congratulations to Zebro on the win. And uh, with that, I'll see you next time.